Oh, same closet, okay. Oh, why can't we wash our arms at the sink? The key. The keys to my apartment. I'll grab them when I'm ready to leave. Okay. Oh! Oh my god, oh New my York god. Police, please open the door. Hey, what's that? Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. These images in my head. I must be losing my mind. Oh! Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, I think that means it's gonna happen soon though, so it would be great if we could get dressed. Oh, screw all this crap, man. I just wanna get dressed. Can we wash our arms? Oh, there's a camera angle. Oh, a letter. Wait, washroom first, washroom first. Yeah, there was like a little cutscene thingy, majigger, QTE. I didn't really know how I solved that, but hopefully I can get the rest of it. That was really quick. It was much quicker than I thought it would be. No, the arms, man, the arms! Oh my god, don't just look at yourself. Did you even wash that? You can't just bandage something before you disinfect it! What are you doing, man? I'm sorry, that really caught me off guard. Okay, is is this gonna be a horror game? Shit, I'm so scared now. <laughs> oh, I, I need to put on some nice music or like watch TV or something. Oh, that was not good for me. Oh. Yeah, that, that's, that's not good for me either. I look so stressed out. Oh, that raven thing! Dude! Yo! New York police, please open the door. The police, they know. They, they've come to arrest me. I need to get dressed. Police, open up. Just a minute, I'm coming. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Get dressed, please. Hurry up! Sir, hurry up! This is the New York police. I must insist that you open this door immediately. I saw a rag, I saw a bloodied rag on the ground outside. In the living room. Here, here, here. Oh! Open the door right now, I will be forced to knock it down. Oh, in the bathroom? I don't know where to put it. Are we missing anything else? Hey, can we get out of here? Man! Oh my god. This is your last warning. Open the door now, or I knock it down. Okay, okay, let's open it, let's open it! He's getting- he's gonna kill me or something! Let's open it, please. Oh, the key! Just a second, I'm looking for the keys! Why- why are you locked in in your own- oh my god, please. Can you walk properly? Hurry up, hurry up, he's pissed, he's pissed, he's pissed. No! Whoa, wait. I accidentally paused it. Please, just open the door for him, open the door for him, open the door. Don't oh move. my god! And that's how my story ends. 
The neighbors called the cops because they heard shouts coming from my apartment. It didn't take long for them to find evidence of my guilt and link me up to the murder in the restaurant. Now I'll never find out what really happened. As far as the rest of the world is concerned, I'm just a murderer. Why did I just change this? Oh my god. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh my god, I accidentally pressed the oh. New York police, please open the door. The police, they know. They, they've come to arrest me. Okay, let's quickly do this again. Nope, get that police, rag. Get the rag. Open up. Get the rag. Just a minute, I'm coming. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Get, can you move? Walk properly. Sir, this is the New York police. I must insist that you open this door immediately. I keep getting screwed over by the controls, honestly. Uh, the key, get the key. And then I want to get... If you do not open the door right now, I will be forced to knock it down. I think it was this game too, but you know how earlier he said that we can't drink wine after we eat the medicine? I think there's actually an option to do that and we die and then game over. <laughs> I'd like to try it if we weren't so stressed right now, but god. This is your last warning. Open the door now, or I knock it down. I I'm sorry to make you wait like that. I, I was in the shower. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass, and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? No. Yes. <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. Don't want to make him suspicious. That rag better have been the only thing. What happened I wasn't... to your wrist, sir? Oh, my God. I told you, I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Not the washing machine! Don't look at me like I'm a killer. You think I killed somebody? Rude. Oh my god, was there anything in there? Whoo! Whoo! The bed sheets! I covered them. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane. Thanks, buddy. Bye. Was that the same call from last night? I don't think so. Ooh! Okay, I think we just saved. Okay, I'm gonna need a drink. I'm gonna need a drink and some music. Hell yeah. Theory of a death. Oh, wait. Are these copyright? Bye bye. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's alcohol on the table, I think. I don't know. I think it was this game where if we. Yeah, like if we the body drink? of a man was discovered Wait. in the restroom of an East End restaurant. The victim was stabbed several times with a steak knife. While just yards away, other customers were calmly eating their meals. Investigators are already on the trail of a suspect who fled the scene just before the body was discovered. Police have no other comment for the time being, but stay tuned for updates into this. It wasn't me! Several times with a straight knife. 
Okay, well, we probably shouldn't have watched TV. I'm wondering if we can read that letter over here. Or the newspaper. Oh my god. I'm gonna find out about that and get more stressed. Massacre in East End restaurant. <sighs> See? An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restroom of a local restaurant. The Screw that. Not reading the rest of it if it's gonna make me more stressed. Can we like grab a bite or something? Oh god. Can we drink milk again? Is it gonna make us less tense? Because jeez, we are we have good reason to be stressed. Nope, we are still st oh. Wait, that's alcohol. That's alcohol. Wait, let's see, let's see what happened. And that's the end of my story. <laughs> I mixed alcohol and medication and I lost consciousness. <laughs> Suicide or accident, what's the difference? I'll never know what happened to me in that diner on a cold winter's night. Because in the eyes of the world, I was just a murderer. Oh my god. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my god. Okay, enough screwing around. I want to take this story more se seriously now. So I think... Okay, you know what? The good thing about that is, it means we haven't watched TV yet. Because I think it hasn't saved from then. So we're not as stressed. It's a little bit cheating, but I don't care. <laughs> After what happened last night, I'm not really in the mood to play the guitar. Yeah, you're right. You wanna, like, de-stress? I'm in no condition. My forearms still hurt. You're right. I forgot about that. <laughs> um... Is there anything else we can do around here? Yesterday, at 7.30 p.m., Lucas, it's Tiffany. I thought maybe I'd pop over tomorrow night after I leave the hospital and pick up a few things. Well, call me back. Is that my... This morning, at 7.52 a.m. Hello, Lucas. It's Marcus. I'm calling because tomorrow is the 10th anniversary of the accident, and I thought, well, maybe you might want to go together this time. Anyway... Give me a call. Goodbye. Hmm. Yesterday. Okay, we don't need to at hear that again. 7:30 p.m. Lucas, it's different. Um. We we'll just like take our dandy fine time and clean up, hang around the house a bit, and get yelled at by Marcus for being late. This is so unnecessary. It's a really old house, huh? You don't really see this kind of setup anymore, I don't think. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything else we can do in our room. Good thing we covered up the bed, holy crap. Not much around here. Yeah, I guess we can just go meet Marcus now. I don't know what else there is. I mean, we're probably missing something, but... Whatever. I can't believe you needed a key to open the door. From the inside, though, that's really strange. Oh, now we can play as Lucas or Carla. Well, since we were playing as Lucas anyway, why not?
When Marcus and I were ki kids, we were inseparable. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still the only person I really trust. The only one who might believe that I had nothing to do with all this mess. So our brother is a priest now. I guess the event 10 years ago was traumatizing to say the least. You know, like hang with the kids or something. Oh, it's that one, isn't it? Our brother, right there? Hello, Marcus. I'm happy to see you. I missed you. It's been a while. Two years. So tell me what's happened, Lucas. I've killed a man, Marcus. It happened in a restaurant last night. It's like I was possessed, in a sort of trance, like I was a puppet on a string. I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. My god. I can't believe this, Lucas. Tell me that it wasn't you. You're not capable of something like that. And there's this, too. You cut your wrists? Before the murder, I, I carved these symbols on my arms with a knife. I don't know if they mean anything. You went to this restaurant alone? Yeah. Tiffany and I, we broke up about a month ago. I try to get out of the apartment as much as possible. It's just so empty there without her, you know. She called us back, though. Had you been drinking or taking drugs? You know that I don't do that, Marcus. Were there any witnesses? Did anyone see you? Probably. I got out of the restaurant as best I could. The police still haven't identified me, apparently, but it probably won't take them too long to track me down. There's something else you need to know. I know this sounds crazy, but after the murder, I, I had these premonitions, like I was seeing things that hadn't happened yet. While I was doing this horrible thing, I saw something, or, or rather someone. Was somebody else there with you? No, it was, it was like a sort of vision. I saw a man in the middle of hundreds of candles, and, and there was this little girl. What happened to me, Marcus? What am I supposed to do now? You know me better than anyone, Marcus. Help me. Listen, Lucas, I... I'm a bit lost here. This whole story is just so bizarre. Maybe you need some professional help. Most cases of possession are known to actually stem from psychiatric. Marcus, I don't have a psychiatric problem. I'm not crazy. I am a priest, Lucas. The fact that you have taken a life is a very serious matter. I told you that it wasn't me, Marcus. All these years and nothing's changed. You still never listen to me. Lucas. Don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. I'm not a murderer, Marcus. You're the only person I can trust. I'm just asking you to believe me. Very well. I'll do whatever I can for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. Look, I, I need to get some answers. I'll, I'll call you. Here. You need this more than I do. Marcus, you know that I don't believe in all that. Take it anyway. Thanks. There you go. Seems like we grew apart after our parents passed away. Oh my god, go away. Oh my god, no. Am I gonna kill people again? What the heck? That kid, he's gonna slip on the ice. I've gotta stop him. The cop in the restaurant. If I don't do something, the child will die. If I do do something, the cop will recognize me. What am I gonna do? Oh, he fell in already. Ah, uh, shit! No, I gotta, I gotta help the kid. I can't! Oh my god. Can we get up before he comes? Come on! There he Frickin is. 
He's lost consciousness. Quick, I've got to go back up before I run out of air. Damn, I'm like superhuman here. Please. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Go, buddy, go. Oh my god. Go, 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 go! Oh, crap! Bye. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he recognized me. But we didn't- Hey, I know who you are. Don't move! <laughs> and thus my story ends. What? Because by the stupidest of chances, I happened to run into the cop from the restaurant as he made his rounds in the park. It was one chance in a million. And I bought the winning ticket. I'll spend the rest of my days rotting in prison. I'll never know what happened to me that cold January night in an East End restaurant. Because as far as the rest of the world is concerned, I'm just some murderer. I died three times in an hour. Okay, fine. Was, was there more I could do for the kid? It seemed like there were some prompts. Like, could I do CPR or something? Okay, we'll have to check again. I still want to save him though. Like, it's messed up to not save the kid. Come on, 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 come on. There he is. He's lost consciousness. Quick, I've got to go back up before I run out of air. I don't know where I'm supposed to go afterwards, though, after I pick him up. Where is his mom? Oh my god. This is so stressful and tiring. His heart, no longer beating. Quick, maybe it's not too late. One, two, one, two, three. 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 Oh God. Troll 324, kid just fell into the water. Send an ambulance right away. Man, what courage. The kid would have died. That guy's a hero. He dove into freezing water to save the kid. The kid never would have made it out of there without him. The cop recognized me. We both knew it. It's hard to say why he didn't turn me in. Maybe he decided I was even. I had taken a life and given one back. Nothing really changed for me. I was still wanted for murder by the police. But when I left that park, I knew I could look myself in the mirror again without cringing. I think we did the right thing there.